Hey there. So what happens when narcissists discover that you are in the know? We're going to be talking about cracking that code and navigating life today in this video. Hello, so I'm Rebecca Zung, your go-to expert in negotiations, high conflict negotiations, and an attorney. And if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that now. Join our community for our returning viewers. Your ongoing support is deeply appreciated. And today we are tackling a crucial topic when narcissists know that you know. And stick around because we are diving deep into this. And I guarantee that you're going to leave with valuable insights. Let's understand what's going on with narcissism. All right. This is really, really, really important. And when I was researching my book, I was blown away, literally blown away with what I learned about the narcissist brain. And when you figure this out too, when you find this out, you will literally be blown away too. So what happens with narcissists, how they were formed, they were formed out of trauma, okay? When we as humans are dealing with traumatic situations, stressful situations, our brains emit chemicals, neurotransmitters, hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol. And what happens is that the limbic system part of our brains then can be hit with a lot of that. And as children, when that happens, it can actually cause arrested development in the limbic system part of the brain. And so while the prefrontal cortex part of the brain can continue to develop, the limbic system part of the brain in children can actually not develop as, as much as quickly. And so when narcissists can become triggered as adults, that limbic system part of the brain, while the prefrontal cortex part of the brain continues to develop normally, that prefrontal cortex part of the brain is basically like a six-year-old still. If something happens as adults that make them feel like they're back in survival mode, or they feel like they're losing control, they feel like they're going to be exposed, they feel it, you know, it doesn't have to be reasonable, it doesn't have to be rational, it usually isn't. And it can be verbal or nonverbal, it can be body language, it could be a, an eye roll, it can be a tone of voice. It triggers them and then that limbic system part of their brain takes back over, that emotional center part of the brain dominates. And when that happens, they don't even necessarily remember what's going on during that period of time. And when that happens, that's when the smear campaign is born, all of those things. And they will take themselves down to take you down. They, they're not thinking rationally. They're not thinking reasonably. The collateral damage that happens as a result can be staggering. During this period of time, it's wild what happens. It's weird, wild stuff. And so you become public enemy number one during this period of time. So navigating life when they discover that you're in the know can be a crazy time. Signs that you're on to them, it's something that you absolutely need to understand. And identifying these signs that they're on to you, signs that the narcissist knows that you're on to them are absolutely critical and crucial because you are going to want to know how to navigate this time. There's going to be some subtle shifts in behavior and that their defensive reactions are going to be heightened. Their manipulations will be heightened. It's basically a toddler who's just starting to scream louder. They're going to scream longer. They're going to, if I just heighten, then they're going to do what I want. That's basically what's going to be happening. Just remember that they're always the worst right before they're ready to give up. You can't give them the cookie because it doesn't make it any better. You got to basically say, no, I'm not giving you the cookie. You know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But just remember that you're basically, you've been conditioned. They conditioned you and you're going to be conditioning them back. You can do it in baby steps, but just notice what the signs are going to be when 
you start taking these baby steps. You'll start to see first that they'll start to maybe use those love bombing signals again, you know, like, okay, I'll do what I, what worked before I will be more of the, the charm, more of the future faking more of the, you'll see it's all going to be better. You'll see that it, how great it's all going to be. You know, they'll turn on that again, that form of manipulation. And then they'll start to see, well, maybe that's not working. So then they turn to the next form, which is let me start getting my control back. So whatever they were doing before to try to have control, they'll do more of that, trying to control your text messages, well, then, you know, more of that. Or if they were difficult before, well, then it's even more difficult. If they were monitoring your behavior, then more of that. You know, whatever it is that they were doing, they'll be, it's more heightened. And then when they start to realize, okay, this isn't working, that's when you start to see you're going to start to become public enemy number one. Then you'll start to see the threats. Then you'll start to see, well, you're going to come down. I'm going to go after you. The mask is going to start to whip off. Everyone else is going to know. You're not going to get anything. Your reputation is going to be mud. I'm taking everything from you. All of that is going to happen, even for covert narcissists. The mask is off. You're going to be like blown away by how bad they can be at that point because they'll start off by saying well we can do this amicably and all of the things that they'll say to your face but when they realize that that's not happening then the mask is going to come off this is where you're going to see the birth of the smear campaign they will smear you to whoever they can smear you to and you will be left behind let me tell you, because the person that you thought you might be able to have a something with closure, something where you could walk away, still be on good terms with, all of those things, that doesn't happen when you're dealing with somebody who's a narcissist. It just doesn't happen. As much as I have ever tried with somebody who I thought was a good person, somebody who I thought was not a narcissist or whatever, it doesn't happen. And so you will have to create boundaries. You will have to preserve your own headspace when it comes to dealing with a person who's a narcissist. If the very first boundary that you draw is that you say to yourself, I will be spoken to with respect, even if you're in the same house or if you're in the same office or you're still in a business partnership or whatever it is, you can put an invisible sort of boundary down around yourself. Teflon, I always say it's sort of like an invisible barrier down around yourself and start looking at the person as if they are having a tantrum on the floor and start observing their behavior to them. You can start to say things like, I can see that you're upset. I can see that you are angry and, and start to not personalize the behavior and just start to say, you know, we can have this conversation later when you have calmed down. This approach is not working for me. You can say something like that. I have free phrases for disarming narcissists. You can get them at disarmthenarc.com. Just go to disarmthenarc.com and get them. Start to reclaim control for yourself. You will want to have support for yourself. If you don't have access to therapy, we do have a sponsor on this channel. You can go to betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Zung and get access to mental health support. It is a sponsor for us. We do receive commissions on that. It does not cost you any extra. We just want you to have access to help and support that you can trust. We also have a pre free private Facebook group, which you can access. That is Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Sung. If you liked this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you share it. Drop a comment below. Let me know 
what you are going to be doing to get yourself help and support. And also, I want to know what you've seen as far as dealing with a narcissist when you've started to try to separate yourself from a narcissist, when you have been discovered with a narcissist, when navigating life, when the narcissist knows that you know. I want to know what you've seen. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Your support is the fuel that keeps this community going, keeps us helping people, lifting people up, moving people forward, empowering people to become the best versions of themselves. And we're helping people grab authentic, true power, shifting that dynamic against high conflict personalities every single day, breaking free access to true resources. The next video that I want you to watch is how a narcissist uses their eyes to manipulate you. We are going to go watch that next video together. And until our next empowering discussion, stay strong, stay empowered, and keep negotiating for the life that you deserve. I'm Rebecca Zung. Remember, today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. And we're going to go watch that next video together. And I'll see you over there.